What's up people and today's video is going to be special we're going to be reviewing the Agora Lego rigs and it's special to me because I worked on all these Lego games Hey guys just flipping over just to let you know that this is real these are all the Lego games I worked on there's about 14 there was 15 but there's one block that I don't have which was the Gimli Lord of the Rings one but yeah all these are all the games I worked on chuffed with the Wolverine one because I worked on Wolverine when we're working on Marvel but Agora have got these fantastic rigs and we're going to check them out and review the Lego rigs and see the difference between the Lego rigs I was working on and these ones so let's dive in okay guys as you know Agora has just got these Lego characters out of the previous models but just Lego versions right of the of these great rigs here like Alpha, Beta, Delta and they've got a little ball here ahead right base Lego as well now this is a bit nostalgic for me because as you've seen in the intro to the video i worked on a lot of lego games but it, it'd be nice to see how these rigs are because the rigs i worked on they were very much or they were like organic right they were you could bend them like humans they were like bipeds but i think these might be just a bit more like rigid how legos models should should move so let's go in let's check it out and yeah and then hopefully in the future we'll have we'll do some animations and have some fun with these rigs so let's dive in and check these out okay so first thing we open up uh, the file and this is what we get now this is very very different to the minifigs obviously i haven't got the minifigs on me because copyright and i can't really chat about that but what i can do is um tell you what i'll do i've got a show here uh, let's put the volume down here for a minute all right let me check out yeah the, this was a lego um creature not creature it was called right so i've got some legos arcane this is where i use arcane this this is like the bigger figs you had mini figs and you had big figs and these are the mini figs as you can see look it walks it's quite like like human the rigs right i couldn't bend the arms and everything even here with the feet i can bend everything uh and there you can stretch on the legs there was a little bit of a stretch there stretch on the torso there so there is a there is that bit of ability where you can stretch so we did have a bit more of a i guess we weren't as restricted to the lego rigid movement which was kind of nice but this is also nice too because you're staying true to lego so let's have a look let's check this out so first things first let's check out the whole rig and we've got the base at the here at the bottom here and then we'll go through the controls here Global scale, bigger, smaller, right? Standard. Control visibility, turn on and off. Secondary controls. I don't see any secondary controls on there, but that's cool. Geo, you can turn it off. You can look at the rig. Pretty simple rig. Simple but effective. What's this reference template? Geo type template. Okay, yeah, different. You can just set them. To different one where we want to reference joint visibility joint type we don't need to worry about those things if we're just animating normally what is this this is scale five okay just seems like an excellent oh lighting stage turntable oh, I see so it's for lighting I've got my own lighting in there but that's cool all right so then we go to this so this is moving everything apart from the head and then you can change the rotations here that's cool so you can have like isolated movement of dancing you know wherever and then moving up to the feet what's this follow rotations okay they don't work I'm not sure what that is i'm still new to this too so let's have lock, lock axes move it up and down okay that moves not sure what that is and you can control your rotations ah uh, i think it's oh uh, that just locks how far it can go i think that's what it is can go up okay not sure what that is but as you can see you can move this up like this and then there's a control here which you can rotate the legs 
I would probably use this one because when you rotate this, the control doesn't move. But I think this is more for the switch, yeah. IKFK switch, there you go. So we switch here, and then you can use this. That's fine, yeah. And I like this because look, you can, you've got these controls here, you can select. So this is very thoughtful of Agora. They always do this in their rigs, which I find, you know, very easy to select. I know I don't really use pickers. I know pickers are good to use, but rigs like these are brilliant because when you've got rigs which are all the way in like this and you want to select something, you've got a control here and a control at the front. So that's quite, that's very thoughtful, I would say, you know. So you've got IK, FK there, so we can undo that. Same on the other leg. And then here you have the hips, okay? So you have, again, you can rotate everything. The head stays still. Then you've got the, you can rotate forward to back, side to side. If you want to do that kind of thing, inner one as well. I guess this is good for like, although it's the, if we rotate this leg, yeah, the legs move. So these two different controls could be, you know, you might want to rotate this in one axis and the inner one in another axis. So it just prevents gimbal lock. You know, that's that's real cool to have that. Then we've got a control in here, the hips, for moving the upper hips. Now this is cool. You see the pivot points? You've got a pivot point here. And on the front side, you have a pivot point like there, it pivots off this front bit here. So that's cool for creating those rocky, rigid, lego we type. And then you can also do sideways, see, the pivots. So that's really cool. I love that, you know, that's brilliant. And then you have the torso control here. I'm not sure about this detach part. Oh, look, it detaches. And attaches. There is a bit of movement there, isn't it? So something. So it just attaches and detaches on the brick, the little brick here. You can see the difference. Like detach, attach. It's closer. So you have that. Then you have the neck. Same here with the neck. Nice to have this little bit of round controls here, so you can select it easily. Head as well. I've noticed you've got the head control here. But then you've got these ones here on the outside, which are really good for accessing. So that's really cool. And at the top, for the head, that's cool as well. So pretty simple, you know, going up, which is uh, exactly how I love it. Simple rigs. And then here we have IKFK switch, right? So this is the IKFK switch. So if we turn that off. We can see from here, we can move the arm up, move it. It just goes up and down. Okay, and this is the wrist, that's for the wrist. And then this is the shoulder going back and forth. Okay, but we, don't, we won't use that in uh, IK, obviously. But in coming on to, when we come on to uh, IK, this is the upper arm, right arm. So this moves up and down, and you can move it out if you want. Uh, this is the arm pin. So detach reverse is the control on here, it says detach. So you don't have to use that. You can use this one. This is the main control. And then, of course, you've got the wrist. The wrist one is fine too. And at the back here, we have a shoulder. So you've got another control here where you can use. So again, you can use this for one axis and the other arm for the other axis to avoid gimbal lock. Same on the other side. So that's the majority of the rig. Uh, very, very simple, very effective. Love it. I just love the style. It just takes me all the way back to when I was doing Lego. It's completely different though, you know, it's, this is all rigid. Even though I did do rigid stuff, there were some characters that needed a bit of that rigid stuff. You could, the rig did have a option for that. But coming onto the head, like if we select this round control here, we have a head smooth, so you can have it smoother up to three. So the geometry goes smoother, right? If I put it in wireframe, will that make a difference? Yeah, you see how that goes smoother? So let's go to three. Yeah, smoother. So we'll just keep it on one, which is fine. 
and then we'll uh, put the lighting on. We want my lighting. <laughs> so we'll select that. Obviously, visibility on off. Face rig, you can see there. When I turn it on, there, the face rig comes on. So that's really cool. Again, you got for the eyes, the main control. So this is the main control and an individual, which is lovely. And then let's work. Let's work from the top down. You got the eyebrows for all of them and then typical three you know you can create you can create your shapes with this however you want bring this down so lovely you know moving those textures around i think this is great i love that so yeah you can play around with that and then there's a little frown here there's a little so you can get some you can get some very animated shapes with these Legos, you know. There were these pre uh expressions when I was working at Lego, of which they have here, look, frown, uh, wrinkle. Uh, they haven't added any more, but you know, you can add more there. Or just animate by hand, which this rig is for, you know, you can see here as well. You've got these two controls here. So let's just grab these two. You know, this, you can move this out. You can create a lot of expressions with this. I scale, I guess you can scale for blinking. And uh, you can, there's endless, you can do loads of things. Move it down, move it down as well. Outside controls there affecting. So it's nice that you're getting the outside. Everything is going to be affecting the facial animation, which is what you want. You know, this is a, the face system is a whole character in itself. You know, when you, when you smile, Everything gets affected from the cheeks. So it's, you know, all those controls are there for you to make the performance believable. Okay, so that's the eyes. Then we move down to the mouth. So you've got the main mouth here. Oh, here, look at that. You've got all these controls. So you've got neutral mouth. This is what we had at Lego. Yeah, smile. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, it's wicked. Look at that. Ah, ha, ha. Fear. See, you can have so much fun with just these. Right, and then if we look at O. Okay, so let's let's do something. Let's see from, so for example, if I go to zero, key that, and say at eight, I want that. So it, yeah, see it keeps that till we get to that. So it's one of those stepped kind of interpolation, which is, which is great, that's cool. So let's just grab that and delete these. Awesome, that's brilliant. So you got that for the mouth control, which is amazing. So that's just by clicking that, mouth control, awesome. And then you can move that up and down as well to suit you, whatever suits you. And on the sides here, again, like the eyebrows, you've got free controls for the lips, up, move it up. Or you can just do the side ones, move these up. And then you've got these dimples, or the sides, which is pretty cool as well. So yeah, so yeah, that is it. That is the rig, really. This really simple rig, effective. We'll do a little test spin or a little run cycle or something, Lego one. But I'm really looking forward to just doing one. It's, it's just, for me, this is just bringing back a lot of uh, memories because, you know, I spent 11 years working at Warner Brothers for, for video games. And, and, you know, and you know what, the one thing with, when I worked there, although, you know, in the gaming industry, I don't know about now, but back then it was a taboo thing where, you know, working on Lego uh, is kind of frowned upon, looked down upon. And I don't know if that mentality has changed now, but to be honest, when I was working at Lego, we really learned how to do animations really quickly at a good, good enough standard, you know, like just to get it in the game. Because we used to work on, when I started in 2010, we worked on three games a year and it was a sweat box. It was, uh, to be honest with you, it was like a cash cow. It was really, you know. They know they got this franchise. They know they got Lego. Let's put Lego Harry Potter in, Lego Lord of the Rings, Lego Pir Pirates of the Caribbean, Lego Star Wars. They had a system that worked, right? And yes, it was simple games, but I learned so much about game development in that in that studio and made some good friends along the way you know and uh fun memories there as well so it was 
So Lego always has a little soft spot for me on my, in my heart, you know. So anyway, guys, if you want to learn how to do high level advanced animation from fundamentals all the way to advanced and getting your show reel up, you know, if you're a beginner and you want to get your show reel up to that level where you can apply for entry level jobs and then go up from there, check out my link in the description. I've just got a new course out. It's uh, Maya Animation Mastery and it's it goes through all the fundamentals, all the way to the advanced techniques, all the way to getting your show reel done and networking, applying for jobs and also applying for agencies, which I have contacts in. And, you know, when we get your work, when you complete the course and you really follow it to the T and get it polished, there's a private Facebook group too. There's a private inner circle group once you enroll. So in the inner circle group, I go over a lot of feedback with you to get that to get that show will up to that next level. And then I can help push. Once it's ready, once the show is ready, only when it's ready and polished, we can push it out and give it to agents. And I can push your work out too, because I know a few agencies and I know a few agents personally I've chatted to and we can help get you through that graduate program, beginner program. And once you're in, that's it. Once you're in the industry and get that one year's experience, then your doors will start opening, okay? So, with, so this course is really designed to just push you and get that show we're ready to that level. All right, guys, so you can click in there. Check out the webinar first. If you want to enroll straight, there's another link in there too. But the webinar explains everything. And then the course, and if you click on the button below that, it explains all the course introductory, what inter introduction to the course, sorry, and what is involved, what is in the course, what topics are there, what I cover. All right, guys, so I'll see you in the next video. Stay healthy, look after yourself, be disciplined, you know, really hone in on your craft and just keep practicing every day. You're losing motivation. Come to this, come to this channel. Join my Facebook group, private one. I'm posting on there at least three times a week, and we got such a good community. There's about 800 people now. We're nearly hitting a thousand on there as well. So, and thank you for your support on YouTube as well, man. You guys are great. You know, it's, it's getting to nearly 5,000 subs. So I love you guys and take care and make sure you train as well. Yeah, work out, go for a walk, get out. Animation is living. Animation is is life. So you need to get out and live your life too. All right, guys. I'll stay. See you in the next video. Uh, take care, be healthy. Ciao.